That is a trip. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I think you really see up close with that part of the screwdriver. Hey everyone, Tommy Jordan here. This is the Add-on Star Digital Microscope. So looking down, we have here our instructions for the Digital Microscope 207S. Here's our user manual. All right, so it comes with everything you need, including your display, the microscope, and, we're, and even, even remote control. Wow, now this is gonna be really good. Oh, there's our light. Look at that, wow. Do not drop, do not press or touch display with any objects. Very important. All right. So there you go, guys. Oh, that's a beautiful display though. Look at that, that's really nice. There's up or down. All right, so we have a lot of delicate instruments here, guys. We wanna be very careful. This is probably a little container if you wanna catch a specimen whatever that might be. You can put it, the little critter inside there and then close it. And while they're walking around, looking around, you can look at them underneath of this. So that's gonna be kind of cool. Look, you can look right down in there and look at them nicely. Kind of cool. So I gotta find a little critter. I put them in there. We have some more pieces here. This is probably for keeping the uh, lenses in place. Have our plug. Now, this is my first digital microscope. I actually have a regular microscope, a good old fashioned mono. I don't have any stereo microscopes. Just a regular mono is the one I have. But uh, so this is gonna be my second professional type microscope. Remote control. Take a look what else we have here. Nice, oh, I'm glad. Okay, so we do have some sample slides that we can look at. Tweezers to pick up elements. And uh, here's our slides. Okay. We can look at this under the microscope too. So we have some sample slides here. Let's take a look at what we have here. This is gonna be uh, Epidemus of the Onion. Nice, nice. So if you wanna see what the Epidemus of the Onion looks like, or if you have an onion in your house, you could actually cut an onion up yourself. Uh, you could also grab a bug that's walking on the floor in your home. If you if your house has bugs, you know, pick one up. And here's a honeybee wing. Yeah, what I always used to enjoy doing when I was a kid, I would go and torture the little bugs. And then after I've tortured them and they lived their full life, I would then pick them apart and take a look at their little appendages. And now, if you have a kid, you can teach them how to do the same and then look at everything under the microscope. How cool would that be? What else do we have here? Here are some additional control devices. Okay, very important. All right, mini HDMI to regular HDMI. I can also take my HDMI out and plug it into a external source to see it on an even bigger screen. So that's kind of cool. Oh, look at this. Guys, it even comes with an SD card. This is a 32 gigabyte SD card. Good, so it gives you everything you need to begin. Let me check this out. And we have a mini USB, the USB, okay. And here's our stand. And then we have the neck. Alrighty. Okay, lock it. Okay, and now I'm gonna screw this in here at the bottom. Just kind of screws in there. So I'm just screwing this in now. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it now and I'm gonna use this black ring here to, to lock it into place. So I've locked it now and it's right in the middle with our black locking ring. Okay, good. Move this back and now I'm gonna slide this into place. This locking ring will go into here. So I'll put that in, that locks in. Once that's in, then I will bring these, see this little part right there? I'm gonna push that down so that it comes into place. This is where you want to line up and turn the knob to lock it into place. And it's being locked into place with that plastic ring that's inside. And now this is gonna stay put. So as I turn the barrel to adjust the sharpness of my image, this will stay put and won't move. Plug the mini USB into the top here. And there you go, turns on. And look at the screen dimensions there, 43.2 by 324. So as you can see here, I am powering this entire device 
from one single USB out from my laptop in this case, or if you're using a single USB, but I have my controller here so I can turn it off or on. There you go, it's turning back on. Looks like I can, with the remote control, make it brighter or not so bright. See, turn down the brightness, grease burn. So that's kind of nice. We'll have a little remote control there. And watch this. Light comes on. I don't even see the light. There's the light. Notice this moves to either right or left, up or down. Okay, now notice how this is moving a lot. To, to keep that from happening, what I'm going to do, this ring down here, I'm going to tighten this ring here. And now it's locked into place. Tight there. And now that's locked and that's not going anywhere. And now I can put my image right there back and I can zoom in closer. So let's go closer there. And now let's adjust the sharpness. Okay. So I'm going to one. Oh, wow. This is cool. Look at that. Getting really close up now. So now I can really see those cells. Look at that. There's the nucleus. Isn't that nice? That is so cool. Let's see if we can make it brighter. So I got the brightness all the way up. Okay, the brightness is all the way up. You could now, if I want to take a picture of this, take out my SD card, 32 gigabyte card. I'm gonna turn it around. There's a slot right here at the top for my SD card. I'm gonna slide the SD card right on in. SD card is now in. All right, so when the SD card is inserted, looks like it, I guess you have to turn off the unit when you put in your SD card. That's so cool. Here we have the honeybee worker's leg. Ooh, the honeybee worker leg. Oh, let's go take a look at honeybee worker. Now, again, guys and gals, if you have honeybees around your house, you don't have to count on these slides. You can go ahead and buy yourself some slides and then uh, take the honeybee's leg off yourself, right? Uh, after it stings you, you pick it up, you take the leg off, try to avoid the stinger, or even take a look at the stinger underneath. Look at that. Ooh, there's the leg. How cool is that? Ooh, that is cool. There's the honeybee's leg. Wow, that's really cool, guys. And I have an SD card in here. Looks like I have it all as sharp as I can be and see, can I make it sharper? Yeah, it's pretty good. Can I bring it closer? Let's see if I can get closer. Okay, and now sharpen it. Oh, it might be as sharp as I can get. Okay, that's as close as I can get. All right, so let's go back out. Let's get out. And now we'll just, so I guess there is a limitation, I guess, with the sharpness, but that's kind of cool. Look at that. So this is going to be great, guys and gals, you know, when your kids come home and they have a little something in their hair. And there you go. I just took a picture. Hit M. And there's my image. Where, where is M? Oh, there's an image I just took. So I just took a photograph and then go back to my menu, my, my menu here. And there's the picture that I took a moment ago. There's the uh, leg of the little bee and back to the picture. Kind of nice. Hit OK. Menu. And there we are back to our thing. Keep the pet, keep it still by uh, locking it into place right there. And there you can really take a look at everything. And I can easily adjust the sharpness that is just so cool the detail you can see so if there's something really tiny maybe you've got a piece of metal stuck into your fingers you can now see where that metal piece is on your skin kind of cool no more curiosity you can now take a look at anything this is going to be great for teaching your children the importance of cleanliness maybe take some sheets and show them the little dust mites that are under bed pillows now let's say you had some sensitive electronics you need to work on you can take your electronic pad put it right there and then you can easily do the work on your pad so let's go ahead and zoom in adjust that And now you can see here, here, and now I can easily do the work. And then I take the back 
little light here in the back, a little plug. Plug this in here. And now I can do work, sensitive soldering, any kind of sensitive work. You can adjust the light to where you want it to be. If you want to go looking to the side, directly above, however you want to do it, guys and gals. You know, you can see different parts. So that's kind of cool. That'll come in handy. So that's important, guys and gals. So this is the Endon Star digital microscope, the AD207S Pro. This is really going to help out. This is also great for teachers. If you're a homeschool parent and you're trying to teach your kids about the world of the small and have them, you could just have a blast. You know, you don't have to go looking at a microscope that's a mono microscope with one eye. You can now just use a monitor. So this really is going to make things a lot easier for everything and for everyone. And if you are working on microscopic work, you need to do something. Maybe someone got a uh, piece of wood in their finger and you need to get that wood out of the finger. You can have the person keep their finger still. And then you zoom in to that part of the finger. You know, let's see, let's go to a part that might not be that nice. Let's see. Oh, look, ooh, gross. Okay. Um, but anyway, you, you get the idea, right? That's pretty disgusting. Okay. Um, but look at that. Look at that. I can really zoom in my fingers and, 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 and show the kids, hey, look, you see that? Look at it. That's, I don't know what that is. What in the world? Okay, this is scary, guys and gals, right? You're going to be looking at things and see things you don't know about yourself. But look at this. I can go in here and say, I got some important work. We got to get that out of there. We got to clean that. We got to clean it. There, there it is. So let's go ahead and clean this piece here. Can I get rid of it? Whatever that is on my skin. That is a trip. <laughs> look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look, you can really see up close with that part of the screwdriver. That's a trip. Okay, I gotta clean. I gotta clean this off. Oh, it worked, I think. See, and you can show your kids before and after. That is really gross. Sorry for showing you my skin so close. Look, little microscope. I wonder what that is. Maybe that's just pieces of, um, um, maybe that's pen, leftover pen, ink. That's on my skin. Isn't that gross? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to have fun with this. <laughs> and they were going across the landscape. They traveled and we zoomed in on them to see them. They were talking to one another. We must get out of this land. We must leave. We must leave sooner than later. Yes, I know. But we don't know our way across this barren landscape. Help us escape. And then came the big, scary monster. Rawr! Rawr! Ah, the people ran. Ah! 